Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. Shirt's weird. We're going to have a DIY today. And what I'm taking are these. Um, and these are, I think MDF board is what it's called. Mason jars that I bought at the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna decorate them on the back side. I kept this one because I like it, but I bought four. And I want to show you, I was thinking about putting words on it, but I think that's overdone. Like there's plenty of channels to see how to put words on things. So I'm going to show you my take on how I decorate them. And hopefully you enjoy, would like to make some for yourself. Um, the first thing I did is I cut off the twine and I took my hair dryer. I cut my finger. Um, hair dry the back to heat it up and peel these stickers off and they will peel off without leaving too much gunk behind so that's the first step so you'll need a hair dryer you'll need your hot glue gun um, I'm using some of this to make a wreath for one of them but you could use these ties from the Dollar Tree and make your wreath um, obviously I have those two and I'll show you how to make those um, for one of them, I need some glue and a paintbrush, and I don't love this Dollar Tree. I think it's supposed to be like a stencil brush, but it's terrible. So I'm going to use it to apply glue because that's, you know, it's a terrible paintbrush. And I'm just using regular old Elmer school glue. You can use whatever you want. Um, you may want a sandpaper. You may want an ornament to attach to the front of them. These would be perfect. Paint the, the, black, uh, the back like a black or a navy blue and put some snowflakes and glue one of those to it. That's an option. Um, I got these letters, these, I'm sorry, these words at the Target dollar spot. They were $3 and they say, Believe, Merry and Bright and Christmas. And you can paint them, they're wood, and you can, they're stickers, but you can totally hot glue. This cat of mine. I have a drawer that's open that has some knitting in it, and he can smell the wool, and now he's going crazy. And now he's in the drawer. It's my life. Anyway, there's some words you can use. Um, the Dollar Tree sells little mini ornaments that are snowflakes. They have these stickers you could attach. Any type of embellishment, really, you could use. Um, you can. And what I'm using is a piece of paper from this book. I bought a huge book, and I've been utilizing the paper. So I'm going to use this. And actually, I think I might go in an angle, but we'll see. But you could also use scrapbook paper of any variety. Um, this stuff here, I got the Buffalo Check. Look at these Santas, guys. I got these Santas. I picked up some of the red, I um, the white Buffalo Check. I got some vintage paper like that. I grabbed just some vintage stripe. And I think I had this snowflake. So just any scrapbook paper would work. Um, this Buffalo, ooh. I does not want to focus. Some buffalo check. Anything you want. If you wanted it to look more modern and less um, farmhouse, I would say for sure a paper like this with this metallic and then use some of the, the um, what is that, diamond, diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree to do and embellish the top with some diamond wrap. That would be totally modern. Clearly, that's not my aesthetic. But I do like it because I obviously bought a piece of this. And I, I like this. I use like something like this and then I would like dial it back, I suppose, to make it more um, countrified. But now he's throwing things out of the drawer. Dobby, quit. Okay. <laughs> I just have some markers. And these are double-ended so fat and pointy. These are actually from my bullet journal, but they worked out well. I'll show you where I used them. And then I just pulled out a bunch of paint markers because these work great. Uh, and these are the Dollar Tree ones. And I'm telling you, they work really well. This is a Sharpie one and these are Dollar Tree ones. So I pulled them out as a variety just to decorate with. Um, I had a ruler. I used a pencil. I have some... 
I have some scissors. I just dropped on my toe. Um, oh, and some twine. Or like I said, some diamond wrap would be fun. And then I used <laughs> my baby powder here, this talc powder to make the wreath. Cause this was the perfect size around that I wanted. So I formed it around that. And oh, and some just other, any kind of embellishment. I, you know, I love these, right? Any kind of embellishment. If you're painting, you'll want some type of vessel to put your paint in, which I did paint. I'm not painting the one I'm gonna show you tonight, but I did paint some other ones. So some paper plates for that. And I said hot glue gun and glue. Oh, here's the book that I just pull pages out of when I want to. Oh, that's a good page. See, I like pages like this where there's not a lot of separation in the paragraphs when I'm doing something a little larger. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna flip you around. I'm gonna show you what I've done, finish a couple items, and then do a start to finish. All right. My camera's a little whoppy jawed, but I, I can't fix it right this second because I'm trying to avoid some shadowing. Well, first thing we're going to do is show you what I've done. So see how I took off the um, tags. And there's still a little glue on here, but it's okay because of what I, the process I'm doing to this one. But if you need a different process, you can totally just take your sanding block and sand the rest of the way off. Um, and what I did on the back, which is really the front, I sanded it down as much as I could and then I just painted it a solid color because I really wanted it to look a little more finished if somebody saw it from the back and I left the sides just the plain white. Um, and then this is the paper that I'm using. It's pretty thin book paper. And I put an X on the side I want to remember not to use. So I'm just going to put that straight down. But the first thing we're going to do is cover all of this in glue. This is sort of like old school decoupage meets new school crafty craftiness. So I'm just putting, and you want an ample amount of this glue. And you definitely want it to go all the way to the edges. Um but not excessively because we are going to sand a little of it off. I'm trying to stay in the middle here. But yeah, I definitely would like a decent amount of glue. Already these little dealies are coming out. The little, this is a terrible paintbrush. Just so you know, don't waste your dollar at the Dollar Tree because the bristles keep falling out. So what I'm doing is just putting an even coat of the glue. And like I said, you definitely want it a decent amount because you want it to stick. You only get one shot at that. And now I'm throwing that nasty thing away. Okay, so here's my paper, here's my glue. I'm gonna turn it this way so I can line it up myself. Hope you can see. And then I'm just going to, and I just wanna try to go straight. So I'm using the letters at the bottom to line it up. And that's it. Push it down. Now you can turn it over. And I'm going to use... Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm breaking the house down, guys. My gift card that I use when I use my washi tape. Which you could totally cover this thing in washi tape, too. But I'm just... Now look what's happening, guys. Is this not awesome or what? It's wet paper. I know going around the edges and the beauty is I'm going to be roughing up these edges so to me it doesn't make a difference something like that where it just tore a little bit but I'm going at it and then I'm going to pull it down you don't want to pull it up because you're going to that would lift the um, stuff that's not dry <laughs> Looky there, guys. Looky there. How easy was that? Now, it's still rough around the edges, and that is okay. Definitely, I'm just trying to get some of the air bubbles out. And we're going to let this dry. Isn't that awesome? 
we're going to let this dry and we're going to go through some of the other ones. Um, I did pull out two more products I forgot. I got some stickles for this because I just, it's Christmas. It needs a little sparkle. And then I got, um, if this is a, just a mini ink blotter, metallic gold, dark, um, dark gold that I'm going to antique it with a little bit. So I grabbed those out of my stamping. If you don't have that, it's not necessary by any stretch of the imagination on that. Okay, so first things first. I have the back painted and look, I created a sign. I just painted a big old blob, literally a big old blob. I want to put some of the stickles on this one into the snowflakes just to give it a little dimension. And I'm going to pull it up so you can see what I'm doing. If you've never seen stickles, you see how fine that little top is? Um, come on, focus for me, friend. What this does is it's almost like glitter glue on here. And if you want to see this close up, look at his face. On the face, I used the markers to draw in the detail and this was so easy and then I used the gold paint pen to write joy I have not sealed this yet because I want to do the stickles and then I'm just let me see if I can get it a little closer for you you just give it a good squeeze and as soon as it starts coming out oh, here it comes I can see it It will leave like a dollop. Come on. And then when the when it dries, it looks gray, but when it dries, all you're gonna get is a little sparkle dot. And I'm not gonna do it everywhere. So, and then maybe we'll just do a little, little something in this tree here. And this is it. Okay, let me show you. Now this obviously needs to dry, and the, but I will show you what I have to go on this one. Can you see the shiny down here? It's sparkly. It's just going to give it that just something. On his little cheeks, I just took some pink, red and white, and dropped it on. I drew the um, carrot nose with an orange marker and took a brown marker and kind of just gave it a little dimension. Same thing with his little face. And then down here, I just used the paint marker and then a little white over it. So we'll let that dry. This one I'm not touching because, well, look at it, guys. And I love that they painted the top silver like a real mason jar lid. You could do that as well. Super easy. Now, the other one I painted is the Santa. And this was just, ooh throwing things around this is just straight lines that's all I did and I painted this with some black paint I used my gold paint pen for that and then the bottom I don't know if you're going to catch it I painted it white and then I have some glitter clear glitter paint that I painted over just to give it some again out of dimension now on this one I can either I'm going to open up these signs which I have not busted into yet. These are new this year to me. I don't know, I didn't see them there last year at Target. Um, I could just attach that Believe sign over it. And you don't even have to glue it, that's the beauty. These are stickers. Now, if I don't feel like it's going to stick, I can add more, but let's put this on here, kids, and see what it's gonna look like. Because obviously it's Santa and we should be believing. And then we're gonna just press that down. Oh, don't you think that's pretty awesome? Now I'm gonna get out, we're gonna make this one a little more modern. So hang on one second. This is the um, diamond, diamond adhesive wrap that I was talking about from the dollar, from the Dollar Tree. And I usually get this in the floral section and I just grab it when I see it. Um, I have gold and silver. So depending on what you wanna do, I have gold on here. 
but I definitely wanted to make something a little more modern for those who don't love farmhouse even though this is a mason jar um, yeah we can totally do something different I can just take one of the them and stick it right there if you want if you wanted to add like just a little bling to it. But how fun is that? And it just says believe and it's gonna look so pretty. It stands, it's freestanding. Wherever you wanna put this on your mantle or wherever. And then I'll let everybody dry and give you a super close up. On this one, I mean, I can still, it is a little damp, that's okay. You're going to go around the edges with some sandpaper. And the motion you're doing is, again, down. You do not want to go up or you will end up lifting your um, paper. And you don't want to lift it. You really want it to come down behind you. And I'm just trying to really get these edges cleaned up. I, if I go through the paper a little bit, it's okay, but because of the technique I'm getting ready to show you with the stamp pad, you don't have to worry about literally pulling off the fabric. I mean the fabric. You can do fabric too. Pulling off the paper, but again, you can. And on him, her, it, I don't know. Everything is a gender to me these days. There we go. So what you're seeing here, and if it doesn't you know, the glue is still a little damp for me. I'll go back and clean it up with a sponge after. But what I want, there we go, is um, just to make sure that it's off these edges. Because we are going to do something fun here. First things first. Any size stamp will do. These just are small and easy, and I don't use these a lot for actual rubber stamping because they're small. So that's the reality of life. But what we're going to do is take your little rubber stamp pad, any stamp pad will work, and just kind of go off the edge. Just like you did with the um, sandpaper. We're gilding the edges a little bit here with this gold. And then we're going to do a little bit in the center as well. The other place you can do it is around the edges if you want. Just kind of gild your edges. And nothing has to be perfect. That's the beauty of crafting. It just needs to be whatever it is you want to make it. Like I know I'm at the end of this one and that's fine. And then I might, you know, just do a little kind of antique make it look dirty. Until you say to yourself, girl, stop, that's enough. And then maybe two more swipes, because that's just how I roll. So yeah, I'm going to spray these with my adhesive spray, um, not adhesive spray, with my sealer tomorrow. But I want them all to be completely dry. And I just use its spray paint. Okay, so now we've got this looking kind of crusty and dingy with the gold. And what I created for this one is this little wreath. But like I said, you could, let me show you this, but this is a Dollar Tree. They're called garland ties. But girl, but guys, there is nothing you can't do with these stinking things. So, they're actually pretty full for a tie. It's just a tie. What you would do, take a circular object. Like I said, I'm using baby this powder container because that's what I have available. And it's, this is wired. So, I'm going to go around it like that just to get its shape. Oops. So, I went around it. You can snip if this is too long or too short, but I'm just gonna hold it in this shape for a second take it off and now you have a basic you know circle 
And because it's wired, you can just attach these two ends together and then kind of go up like petting a cat backwards to kind of fluff this up. And there's your basic wreath. You could put a bow on it. You could put a bow at the bottom. You could put a bow at the top. I mean, look how awesome that looks. Just plain, really. You could do like some kind of a gilded. You could do that and put the word Mary across it, which we may end up doing. Um, but I'm using this one because this is just the one I chose to do. No real reason. And then what we're going to do, uh -huh, we're going to hot glue it down. So you want to kind of eyeball where you want it because obviously you need to get it in the spot it needs to go. And then you bring it back around. Um, I wouldn't over attach it in too many spots. It is wire, so it's going to try its might to um, lift. So I left the ends, the sides up for right now. I can always go back and attach them at another time if that's what I'm choosing to do. But you just want to hold that down a little bit. But you also want to make sure it's not obvious. Now, you could totally leave it just like that. Nothing wrong with that. Super cute. But I'm thinking... I'm missing the word believe. I think it fell around here somewhere. But let's go this direction, shall we? Pull out our words and see which one we think. I definitely know Christmas is not going to fit. That's too big. So we have bright. But I feel like you don't really use bright without Mary. <laughs> oh, I only have one Mary. No, I don't. I have two. Okay, but look at Mary across the middle. I could do Mary up top and bright across the middle. But I don't like it. I honestly just like Mary in the center. What do you guys think? Honestly, I just think that's adorable. Right there. I mean, I could stick it up here decisions guys but I don't like it up here what I may put is a bell up there now this one yes it's adhesive but I'm going to peel the backing off just because I don't want to glue it to the backing I want to glue it to the actual wood but there's no way this will stick there's just not enough there's not enough places for it to stick so what we're going to do is hot glue that side over here and this side over here. We're gonna try to go straight. And we just hold it in place. And then it's nice and 3D. Oh, so I think I'm going to take some twine around the top with some jingle bells because I think the top just needs a little something. So give me one moment in time. I found two gold, pretty good sized jingle bells, and I have twine that I just want to feed them through. Like that, because who does not need jingle bells? What do we think? Oh, I'm touching things again, guys. Stop touching things. Um, I don't know. I think that's too much with the jingle bells. So I'm just going to do some twine around the top and call it Christmas. Everything doesn't have to be bedazzled to an inch of its life, apparently. So they tell me. Oops. So we're just going to attach a piece of twine into some hot glue. I just like twine wrapped around something like this because I just feel like the top needs a little something something. But I don't want it to take away from the Mary. Because, well, that's what we're going to do. If I change my mind... So be it.
And then we have some hot glue in here. And then we'll take our scissors. This is why, and one, one main reason that I don't use my good scissors for anything. This is just crafting cheapy scissors. We'll let the back dry, the glue. <gasps> Guys, isn't that pretty? I love it. It's a little sparkly. It's a little not sparkly. I love the words in the background and how it looks a little antique -y. This one I don't need to seal. It's paper. You know, the paper is glued down. If you wanted to Mod Podge, you totally could. And how cute would it be with that wreath instead? Same concept. And these letters were from this year. I just picked these words up. Um, but if you didn't have a Target near you or you can't find these words, Dollar Tree sells the letters. Um, and you could put your initials in the middle. Just paint them red, paint them green, use a marker pen, use a marker. But they have the letters and numbers at the Dollar Tree. And you could put your family initials. You could put ho, ho, ho. You could put joy. There's a hundred thousand words you could use. I just happened to have bought these and wanted to use them to make this special. All right, everybody's going to dry. And then I will show you what the finished product looks like. All right, here they are finished. I am so happy with how they turned out. Uh, the snowman, let's see if we can get some sparkle. Oh, see the sparkles and the snow. And I love the detail here, just with the word Mary. It's kind of like forward and backwards times all at once. And then this, my belief, <laughs> there's Alex. Look out, buddy. Are you going to say hi? <laughs> you say hi, buddy. All right, everybody. Well, he's going to want some attention. Buddy, I say bye. You guys have a good one. Bye.